What's up everybody? Welcome to another honest comparison video. Today I have this Lexar NM800 Pro and Crucial T500 Gen 4 SSD drives. Yeah, both are high-end Gen 4 SSD drives. So let's check which one actually performs better and which one should you get. But before we start the video, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Also, there is an international smartphone giveaway going on on this channel. Yeah, to know more about that, go ahead and check the community tab of this channel and don't forget to join the international smartphone giveaway. Well, Crucial T500 2TB edition costs around 140 US dollars and Lexar NM800 Pro costs around 170 US dollars on Amazon. So Crucial T500 is a cheaper option. But does cheaper mean better value? Or does it mean that as Lexar has a higher price tag, it will perform better? Not really. Today we are gonna check which of these two Gen 4 NVMe drives is better. We are gonna go and do a lot of testing. We are gonna thoroughly check these drives. But before that, first let's check the basic specifications of these high-end SSD drives. Both are 3D TLC SSD drives and has onboard DRAM. For 1TB edition it is 1GB and for 2TB edition it is 2GB. Crucial is a bit ahead with a better, the world's first 232 layer TLC NAND engineered by Micron, while Lexar is ahead with a far better TBW. Lexar offers 2000 terabytes of total bytes written, which is known as TBW. On the other hand, Crucial only offers 1200 terabytes of TBW. So yeah, that's really a big difference. If you are someone like me, if you want to edit your videos on your NVMe SSD, then you will need to have a drive which comes with more TBW. Anyway, both the Crucial T500 and Lexar NM800 Pro has 5 years of warranty. So yeah, within the warranty period, definitely you can write and wipe up to 67% extra data on Lexar NM800 Pro. In terms of compatibility, both the Lexar NM800 Pro and Crucial T500 supports almost all the available operating systems including Windows, Mac OS and all the other operating systems. Both of these are ready to be used with PS5. So if you're looking for NVMe drive for your PS5, you can buy any of these two without any hesitation. And also, if you want, then you can use these drives inside a USB 4 enclosure. If you have a proper NVMe enclosure, then you will be able to get very good performance. I'm getting around 3180 megabyte per second write and 3060 megabyte per second read from Lexar NM800 Pro, while Crucial offers 3150 megabyte per second write and 3030 megabyte per second read speed. But the problem is Crucial gets heated so easily and there is thermal throttling. So if you want to use your NVMe inside an enclosure, then I would recommend Lexar NM800 Pro. Okay, you need to remember that you will need to have a very good quality, a high-end USB 4 enclosure to get such good performance. Well, let's dive into the testing. Every time I test a drive, I run PCMark 10 suit first. This is a test that imitates serious, intense and constant use of our system. This is an awesome benchmark for anyone looking for a new main drive or for anyone needs to run some applications that can be very heavy on the SSD like video editing. I have tested more than 20 different NVMe SSD drives. Crucial T500 not only has performed better than Lexar NM800 Pro, but it has also performed better than most of the other high-end NVMe drives. Lexar NM800 Pro has performed better than Samsung 990 Pro and Western Digital 850X. Okay, if you are confused about why Samsung 990 Pro has performed worse than these two, then wait for the next test. Yeah, the next test is all about consistency. I know most of you may not use your drive in a very extreme multi-hour long workload, but sometimes we need to do that. So I needed to test how these two drives perform under heavy load for hours after hours. This is a nightmare for most of the affordable drives. You can clearly see Lexar has stood its ground and performed well. Yes, Samsung 990 Pro is definitely the best among these five high-end drives, but Lexar has performed way better than 980 Pro and it has also performed better than Crucial T500. This puts Lexar way ahead of Crucial. 
because when it comes to video editing for hours after hours or other heavy tasks for hours after hours, Lexar actually performs better in real life scenario than Crucial. Okay, I know gaming is a very important thing and we will talk about gaming performance, but before that, let's check sequential read and write performance. Sequential performance test doesn't actually represent real life performance, but it is still a very useful thing as brands use these numbers to promote their drives. Crucial advertises 7400 megabyte per second read and 7000 megabyte per second write speed, while Lexar advertises 7500 megabyte per second read and 6500 megabyte per second write speed. But in reality, Lexar has managed to get 6827 megabyte per second read, while Crucial falls behind with 6588 megabyte per second read speed. Lexar NM800 Pro has 6208 megabyte per second write speed. One more time, Crucial T500 falls behind with 6167 megabyte per second write speed. Please note that in real life usage, you may not be able to get these speeds cause this is sequential read and write speed of a drive. So one more time, these numbers don't represent real life performance. Yeah, I have also tested gaming performance. In 3DMark Storage Gaming Benchmark, Lexar NM800 Pro and Crucial T500 has performed similarly well. Both have performed better than Samsung 990 Pro, so you can clearly see different drives has performed better or worse in different benchmarks. There is no such drive that is perfect for all tasks. Another thing is, if you are going to use these drives inside a PS5, then you should get the heatsink edition of these drives, both of these two brands offers with heatsink and without heatsink drives. So get a drive with heatsink to get better thermal performance when you use these drives inside a PS5. I personally prefer Lexar NM800 Pro for video editing as it offers better performance for a longer period of time under heavy usage. And at the same time, I use a Crucial T500 as my secondary drive. I store all the footages of my active projects inside this Crucial T500. So what's your choice? Are you gonna use these NVMe drives inside a USB 4 enclosure? Or are you gonna put these inside your gaming PC? Please don't forget to make a comment in the comment section and don't forget to check the community tab of this channel to know more about the international smartphone giveaway. If you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.